and welcome to how to machines we are back with a new video on our channel in this video we'll see how tomato ketchup is made so let's get started with the video tomatoes are warm season plants that grow best when the soil temperature is at least 12 degrees celsius and the air temperature ranges between 18 to 32 degrees celsius tomatoes are commonly grown from indoor seedlings that are later transplanted into gardens Tomato seeds are commonly planted indoors as early as 8 to 6 weeks before the average date of the last spring frost. Early season tomatoes require 50 to 60 days to reach harvest from transplanting. Mid season tomatoes require 60 to 80 days. Late season tomatoes require 80 or more days. Now let us see how the tomato ketchup is prepared. The new Super G Harvester aims once again as the undisputed landmark of the market. Its pickup has an inside width of 150cm and it has the possibility to adjust windshield at 150, 170 and 190cm, allowing harvest of tomatoes planted in double rows at 60, 70 and 80cm. Low incidence angle between the pickup and the soil reduces dirt loading and simplifies machine driving also in wet conditions. It is equipped with powder metal rollers, hydraulic weight control, finger automatic stop, single or double disc pickup are available too. It has a large sorting belt that without restriction can grant a maximum capacity in all conditions. The sun cover and the adjustable platform grants a good walking area to labor people for sorting. Bulk elevators has rubber flights with increased height with double hydraulic articulation has an incredibly high capacity. Tomatoes are harvested mechanically between June to July. The fruit is commonly conveyed by water from the trucks into the flume or an inclined channel. The water method washes the tomatoes and protects them from bruising while they pass from the truck to the factory. Tomatoes require warm, well-drained but moisture-retentive soil rich in organic matter. It prefers a soil pH of 5.5 to 6.8. Tomato ketchup is a condiment made by mixing concentrated tomato paste with water, sugar, vinegar, salt and seasonings. The tomato paste is typically manufactured using the hot break method. With this method, pulp tomatoes are heated to 90 degrees Celsius. This preserves the pectin that is found naturally in tomatoes but some of the aroma and color are lost. The tomatoes are chopped and pre-cooked, then dumped into pulping machine or cyclones which separates seed, skin and stem from the pulp. The pulp and the juice are filtered through screens and processed further into ketchup, though some may be stored in a paste for later use. The paste is then transported in big crates to the factory. Then the crates are opened and dumped into paste dumper. Here huge rolling pins squeeze the paste out of the packages. After the paste has been extracted, it sits in the storage bin where it is mixed with water to give a smooth consistency. This makes it easier to transport it to storage tank where it will sit until it moves to the ketchup kitchen. Ketchup is made up of 5 ingredients, sugar, vinegar, tomato paste, brine and secret spices. Then the process of ketchup making starts and it is mainly about heating the ketchup and then cooling it down. Before bottling the ketchup, each batch is rigorously tested through a quantifier. Quantifier is used to measure the viscosity of the ketchup. 
To check the viscosity, a certain amount of ketchup is put into quantifier. Afterwards, it is released to check how far the ketchup travels after 10 seconds. Before bottling, the weight of the empty bottles are measured. Then the bottle is filled with ketchup and the weight is again measured. The boxes with caps are emptied at the bottom floor by operator and transported upstairs. Then it is made sure that the caps are in proper position and rows. After this, the self-adhesive labels are pasted on the bottle. And then the bottles are tied and packed in the tray. With this we reach the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video and stay tuned for the next one.